Hi guys, it's Vincent and today I will be showing you the process of me painting a portrait. <laughs> um, as I've said in previous videos, I don't really draw people, but over the past month or so I have been practicing basically non-stop all the time of just sketching and drawing people just all the time, trying very hard <laughs> to be able to do it. I mean, for the longest time I haven't been able to and I want to, so I've been forcing myself to learn and I don't think this one turned out too bad. There is definitely things wrong with it, but in comparison to what I was producing even just a few weeks ago, this is miles better, so <laughs> I can definitely see improvement in myself, which I am very happy with. So for this I'm just using uh, watercolour paint. This is the Winsor & Newton Cropman palette, although this isn't watercolour paper, this is just mixed media paper. Um, I can't remember the brand of it, but yeah, it's just some cheap, relatively thick paper. <laughs> I don't like wasting my expensive papers on something that is just a practice. I didn't know how this was going to turn out, so I didn't want to use the paper that I really like. Um, so yeah. <laughs> like usual, just starting out with the big main portions of it. So the skin and the hair, obviously. <laughs> I actually really enjoyed doing the hair on this one, I'm not sure why, like at first when I was doing it I was getting quite annoyed but as I started doing it almost like doing it with the strands I thought it started to look a lot better. I think this portrait was kind of based off of myself, this is almost a self portrait but not quite. <laughs> I just feel more comfortable when I'm drawing myself because if I mess it up then I feel totally fine. I don't mind if I make myself look weird but as soon as I'm drawing somebody else I feel really guilty if it doesn't look right. So this is largely based off of myself and then just, uh, I mean not completely but mostly based off of myself. <laughs> the base layers onto all of the smaller areas now. Once again still just watercolour at the moment. Let me know what you think of this different angle by the way because so far all I've been doing is shooting from above obviously apart from when I do uh, drawing on location, um, but if you like the more interesting angles please let me know. <laughs> if not I will just stick to doing bird's eye view, but I thought I'd try out using a different angle. <laughs> I did have a lot of fun with this. As I was doing it, I was happy with how it was going, which has never been the case so far with any of my drawings of people. But um, yeah, all the way through, I was quite content with how this was going. I think it's because I went quite slowly with it when a lot of the time I like to try and draw quickly. But I've been learning with drawing something that you're not used to drawing you kind of need to slow down a little bit and the more you get used to it then you can speed up. It was like with the skulls that I draw they used to take me days at a time and now I can draw one within about 15 minutes so it is just a learning process. <laughs> I just have no patience most of the time. <laughs> this is now just adding 
little bits of shading all over and some blush and just more colours so it's not completely flat all over. And then just adding a golden colour to the hair as well because I felt it looked a little bit flat. I did like the colour but I thought it just needed something more so just a little wash of gold. I didn't do it all over all of it but I did it on the main areas and I do think it looked good. And then just more colour to the eyes. When I did this I managed to make the eyes bigger than they were, which <laughs> I wasn't intending to, but it's fine. And then once that had dried, I went in with the Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils and just added even more shading and more texture to it. I've never really mixed uh, certain things that I use when I'm doing a drawing. I tend to just stick to one type of thing. I mean, I'll have it usually with a fine liner so I do colour pencil with fine liner or watercolour with fine liner. Other than that I never really combined more and that is something that I want to do and that is something that my tutors at university have suggested to me so I wanted to start trying it so here I am trying it <laughs> and I did really enjoy it I do think it worked well it definitely added more interest so I will definitely be doing that more often. I'm sorry that I didn't move my lamp to the other side whilst I was doing this. I wasn't properly paying attention to what I was doing because by this point it was quite late in the night and I had been drawing for hours and I should have moved my lamp. I usually do, but I just wasn't thinking. So now you can just have a shadow all over the page. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can see here I start lining with a fine liner, but later on I do completely change that. I usually always line with fine liners, but this is the painting that has completely changed <laughs> my view on that. Uh, I've been told by my tutors time and time again to use a brush pen, and I've seen so many other artists do it, and I see how beautiful it looks, yet I was still just never willing to do it for some bizarre reason I was just like nope I like my fine liners that's what I want to stick with but for this I tried lining it I didn't use ink or a brush pen I just used a very small paintbrush and uh, black watercolour I would have used ink as I do have some but I realised that it had dried up in the bottle so I couldn't take the cap off <laughs> So I will be going and buying some more soon, seeing as I realise just how much I love doing it like this. Uh, and I'll probably buy myself a brush pen as well at some point. It's just art supplies are expensive, <laughs> so it might take me some time to actually be able to get those. But uh, hopefully within the coming weeks I'll be able to spare some money. <laughs> but for now I think this way works just fine. It still gives the same appearance and it's still basically the same technique using just slightly different supplies. But I didn't realise just how different this could make an image look. I mean, it's it just gives so much more. It just shows it's more expressive, it has more feeling to it, it's not as stiff. I mean, if you look at a fine line of drawing, it is very... I don't know how to express how I feel about it. I mean, I love fine liners, but I do think now that there is a time and a place to use them and a certain type of drawings that would require them and others which require other techniques. <laughs> I've just been so stuck to using fine liners for years now that I was kind of too scared to try anything else. But I'm very glad that I have tried this because I've completely fallen in love with it. <laughs> so, yeah. This is when I realised that 
I wanted to line the face in the same way as well and just look watch this look at the difference straight away it's just like bam there we go okay that looks really cool <laughs> And I apologise for the amount that you will see my head in this video. It was very late at night. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I just wanted to get this finished because I was so excited about it. And I was leaning too far forward and not realising. <laughs> so you will just get to see the top of my head a whole bunch. Just lining the other eye. And just watch. It's just... <laughs> and the eyelashes make all the difference as well look oh, amazing so good <laughs> now I do know that I need to work more on the proportions <laughs> and all of that I'm fully aware and I'm practicing all the time but I wanted to figure out a style that I wanted to work in and I think I am now finally getting there so I'm very happy with that. That was the main thing that I was struggling, that's why for years I haven't been drawing people was because I couldn't get down the style that I wanted to do but I think I'm getting there. So we will see, I might completely change this up but for now I know that I have now found a style in which I can draw people that I don't absolutely hate. <laughs> but yeah, I will keep practicing, I will keep drawing people all the time, and hopefully I will just keep improving. This is me now adding freckles, and this was, I guess, what made it differ from being a portrait of myself, because personally, I don't have freckles but I really wanted to add them to her because just with the colouring that I had used she just to me she looked like someone that needed freckles so I gave her freckles <laughs> and I really like them personally so I do wish that I had freckles but naturally I don't I have a couple here and there but like nowhere near as much as I would like to have them Look how cute she is. <laughs> then just using a white gel liner to add a little bit more depth, make her look all glossy and shiny. With the skin tone that I used, this barely showed up, but it showed up on her lips and on her eyes, so it is cool. This is now me adding the background. Uh, I wanted to use a more earthy tone because with all of the colours that I used on her I gave her hazel eyes and then brown hair so I figured green would just work to keep with the earthy tones that I'd already used just all over I left a white line uh, around her as well I don't know why but I think it looks cool so I don't mind <laughs> And then once that had dried, I went in once again with the Faber-Castell polychromic pencils and just drew a whole bunch of leafy things. <laughs> once again, going with the whole nature theme. Uh, I can't remember exactly what colours I used for this, but it was like a real olivey kind of green and uh, brown, I think. I can't tell properly. <laughs> from looking at this footage but I'm pretty sure that's what I used so yeah just spacing it all around really simple leaves not really thinking too much about them I just didn't want the background to be completely plain but I also didn't want it to take away too much from her so see there's my head look at all so much hair thank you and then I went in with a gold gel pen uh, once again to just add the leaves as well um, this was a last minute decision but I think it worked really well I also added some dots and little lines here and there I think it's cute 
and there we go that is her she is done (laughs) i hope you enjoyed this and i hope you like the drawing if you have any criticism or whatever feel free to leave it i am happy to have any constructive criticism at this point uh and if you did enjoy this video please like comment and subscribe (laughs) bye guys